The G Fiber Self Install Kit comes with everything you need to get your new internet service up and running at home. Let's take a look at what's inside. The G Fiber Wi Fi 6E router, two power adapters, one for the router and one for the fiber jack, an Ethernet cable, and a mesh extender, but only if you need it. There's also a printed guide. Want an even easier way to set up your new Wi Fi? Download the Google Fiber app and follow the instructions from there. If not, let's keep going. First, find where your fiber jack is located. Once you've found your fiber jack, you'll need to remove the bottom cover. Place your thumb and forefinger in the dents on the bottom sides and gently pull out the piece to remove the cover. Next, check if it's plugged into power. If it isn't, take the new power adapter and plug it in. The fiber jack light should blink. Wait until the light turns a solid color before moving on to the next step. If the light doesn't turn a solid color, unplug the power adapter, wait 10 seconds, and plug it back in. Okay, now you're ready to power up your router. If you have an older router, like a Google Fiber Network box, unplug it and disconnect it from the fiber jack. You won't need it anymore. Now, let's set up your new router. Use the ethernet cable from your kit and connect one end to the fiber jack. Then, connect the other end to the new G Fiber Wi-Fi 6E router that also came in your kit. Once that's done, plug the router into a power outlet. You can now put the cover back on by sliding it into place. Now that the router's on, let's set up your network. If you're trading up from an old Google Fiber router, you can skip this step. You'll create your Wi-Fi name and password by going to fiber.google.com slash myfiber from an internet connected device and signing into your account. If you have a mesh extender, check out our other videos for help setting it up. Hey, now you know how to set up your new G Fiber Wi Fi. If you want to recycle your old router or any other G Fiber equipment, just reach out and we'll email you a mailing label so you can return it to us at no charge. Need more help? Visit fiber.google.com slash support or contact us through the Google Fiber app. Remember, you can always manage your account and contact customer service through the app. Want to see the top speeds you're getting? Stand next to the router and visit speedtest.net. For more information about how to make the most of your new internet, visit fiber.google.com or check out our social media channels.